For Scottish Anglicans, it's now a case of here come the brides. The Episcopal Church, born of Protestantism's schism with Catholicism, has separated itself once more, this time from the wider Anglican family. At its General Synod in Edinburgh this afternoon, the Church backed a proposal to allow gay marriages to take place in its churches by just one vote. The motion is therefore carried. For supporters of the change, quiet satisfaction rather than unbridled joy. It means uh, equality. Uh, it means equality for um, gay couples who want to come and get married in church. It means equality for gay priests like me. Um, but it also means that we've been a church that's decided to stay together over this. Um, it means that the people who disagree with me are still going to have an honoured place in the church. The vote will burnish Scotland's reputation as a global wedding venue. Joshua and Stephanie travelled from Leeds yesterday to get married in Gretna Green. Thousands of couples like them come to the town each year to tie the knot from across the UK. Now gay Anglican couples could join the marital march north. So far this church has not been able to capitalise on Gretna's worldwide reputation for holding weddings. But that could all change now this vote has been passed. Gay Anglican couples can now come to Scotland to get married in church. For gay campaigners in the Church of England, which doesn't allow same-sex marriage, today's news is a bittersweet moment. Well, luckily for me, I've got friends and family in Scotland, and yes, um, potentially I've got uh, um, churches that I know up there. But I must admit, I have really yearned to be able to get married in my home church, where I've um, worshipped for, for many years with my partner, so that we can have our friends, family and our community around us. Traditionalists, however, are appalled. They see support for gay marriage as the latest sign that Anglican churches, first in North America, now Scotland, are moving further from God's teachings. Today's decision by the Scottish Episcopal Church to change the biblical and historic definition of marriage has highlighted the need to respond to the cries and pleas of those Scots who today have been marginalized by their leaders. The attempt to redefine marriage is not one that a faithful Christian can support. The first gay marriage should take place in the Episcopal Church later this year. And while no priest will be forced to conduct such a wedding, today's vote puts pressure on other Anglican churches to follow suit. Michael Buchanan, BBC News, Edinburgh.